you've seen that tree swallow copulation usually takes place out in the open with the female perched on a box or a branch and the male flying down to copulate with her from above. And that the female in these situations are in control of whether the copulation attempt by the male is successful or not. But there's another situation in which the males attempt to take control, where they forcibly copulate with females. While we were watching Francois Paquette's videos from Quebec, we witnessed four separate instances of the behavior you're going to see in this video. Here the female is in the box covering two eggs that she's laid, a partial clutch, just sitting on the eggs in the cup, uh, resting herself as she does so. She spends a lot of time doing this, even before she starts to incubate. Then she becomes alert. You can see her looking up. She knows something's about to happen. A male, which we believe was the resident male, entered the box. He pounced on the female from above grabbing her and pinning her by her torso with his feet while he grasped her head feathers in his bill. And while controlling her in this way, he attempted to copulate with her many times over several minutes. Somewhat surprisingly, the female did not seem to struggle resist. Instead she kept her body down on the nest, sort of flattened for the most part. So perhaps she's still able to control the situation in this way, simply by being passive. The forcible copulation attempt continued in this way with pauses interrupted by bursts of attempted copulation by the male. And you can see him bracing uh, himself with his wings pressed against the sides of the box. It was impossible to see if the male was actually able to make cloacal contact. So there's no way for us to tell if the male was able to transfer sperm to the female. It must have been difficult for the male to pivot his tail under her tail with all that nest material in the way. However, for this behavior to exist and persist down the generations, copulation of this type must succeed occasionally. As we watched, we began to wonder if forced copulations of this type could help explain the high rates of extra pair paternity found in tree swallows, where some or even many young in a resident female's brood were fathered by someone other than the resident male. The traditional explanation 
was that females were probably going elsewhere seeking copulations with other males. But perhaps some extra pair young are produced after non-resident males sneak into unguarded boxes and forcibly copulate with the resident females while the resident male is off getting food or uh, doing other swallow business. We suspect this does happen. Now while watching this video you might think you're witnessing an attack and some of this behavior does resemble attacks on intruders caught inside boxes. However, you'll note that the male does not peck violently at the female's head the way he would if he was attacking an intruder, and the female doesn't struggle or attempt to escape the way an intruder being attacked would. Plus, the four times we observed this behavior all occurred within the female's fertile period just before and during egg laying when she was ovulating daily and when males seek the copulation they need in order to pass on their genes and when the male finally released the female each time the two acted as if nothing had happened in this video the male went back to guard duty and the female went back to covering her eggs